coming. We gotta put all these babies away. Come on guys, we gotta go to bed early. Come on, come on. Hurry! Come on, come on. Come on what you doing? Hurry up! Come on! Oh, gotta get a snack for mama first. Come on, we gotta go inside. Let's go! Hurry up! Here, we got a second one right here. Come on, go in there. Come on, go in there. Go on. All right, you take Tilly, Tilly out. Tilly's not a baby. Right. You give me Newt, because he's gonna be with the other little ones over here. He's just too little to be over here. Come here, Newt. Come on, Newt. Here, come be with the little ones, since you're about their size. Okay, bring her over here. There you go. All right. Okay, all the big babies are on this side. Look at that. Those two are on the stump, like they always are. And then we've got Newt. And Lola and Tucker are all together because they're about the same size, even though Newt is two weeks older. <laughs> Newt, come here, come eat. No, wrong way. You got it. There you go. He's so good, guys. He is so good. These two are wondering, why? Are, where's mine? Okay, these are the big boys. Yep, got two big boys. You they got Johnny. Physical. <laughs> they are. I love Johnny, he's so nice and long. Oh, man. I love him. I know, we gotta be locked up. There's a, there's a storm! <laughs> they're so used to going to bed when the sun sets, they're just confused why they're in here right now. But it's gonna be dark in like an hour, so it's not that early. We'll protect you from the storm. We have one stump in here, Kevin, and they all fight over it. Yeah. Although, there still is the mineral feeder that they can hop on, which oh. is super fun. You're okay. Aw, don't be mean. And Honey acts like she's been bottle fed this whole time, but... She'll take it. She will, she'll take it. She's so funny. You're just so friendly, you'll take anything, won't ya? Oh my gosh. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hold on. All right, come here. Who's going to go first? Good job. At first, we have to force them to take it. And then they graduate. See, they always do that, though, right? So naughty. And then they can graduate to where they can take it themselves. That's the next step. I gotta hold him back. Hold on, ladies are always first. You know that. You gentlemen. I know. It's gotta be nice. Somebody bring the bus. Sounds like somebody bring the bus to somebody. Oh, look who's being in a buck already. Uh, is he bugging you, girls? Look at that little bug sound. Oh my goodness. Now they can't breed at this age. Um, they can't breed at this age, but they definitely start to, you know, show their behavior of what they're gonna be like when they're older. It's crazy how much instinct they have at a young age. Look at him already being bucky at three weeks old. But we will separate him from the herd at about eight to 10 weeks old, just to be sure that he can't breed because it's around 12 weeks that they usually can start to have the potential to breed. Of course, you couldn't breed any of the little girls because they won't have their first heat till about four months old, but he technically could breed the mamas at a, as a 12 week old, so. That's why we separate at eight to 10 weeks to avoid that. I think we need more stumps in here. <laughs> they all fight over this one. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, there's some on this one. Did you get on top of the mineral feeder? That's so smart, that's where I would go. So Newt, you know, he was the first one born and he is almost, he's four weeks old I think. Yeah, exactly four weeks old. Those two back there are two weeks old. And so he's he's growing, he's getting stronger, but he's definitely not catching up. <laughs> so he'll probably be small his whole life. 
That's what we're guessing. Yeah. It shouldn't be too bad of a storm, just lots of rain. So the mamas can hang out under here and then babies are locked away. It's a good little setup. The storm definitely hit, but I think the babies are nice and cozy. Let's go check on them. We get it. I get it. It's raining. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's nice and warm and dry in here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Are you guys okay? At least you're dry in here, huh? Is everybody okay? Oh, look at Honey. She's just tucked under there sleeping. It's like mayhem right now. Every goat screaming. <laughs> okay, Newt first. Hurry up, Newt. We found the solution. We just have to feed everybody. <laughs> They're all really hungry because we put them in earlier. No, we knew that. We're just... Trying to feed, you know, the, the loudest one first. But Hazel's got her two. Daphne's got the two girls here. And then Kevin's trying to make sure Tilly doesn't come over and fight with the other ladies because she is like in a mood tonight. Tilly, what? These young ones are always hard to train. They take forever to eat. I think Tilly's the problem, so if, you had, if Tilly had her own skull in the youth, that might work. Don't worry, even though we've been spending a lot of our time, almost all of our time, with the baby goats, we haven't forgotten about all the other things on the farm. Spring is just around the corner and our garden is looking great, so we've got a lot of things to harvest. Today I'm going to show you what a typical breakfast looks like. We'll gather some broccoli, kale, and then some spring onions from the garden. And then of course, a bunch of chicken eggs. We are overflowing with eggs right now. We'll whip up a quick omelet. And even though the milk has to mostly be saved for all the bottle babies we've somehow acquired, <laughs> that's okay. You can still have a great farm breakfast. And then head back out to the baby goats. Well, the storm has passed and everybody is out to play now. And I have my niece Ivy here with me. We, <laughs> we know which ones are the annoying ones. Which ones are the most? Um, honey and I guess these two. <laughs> honey and those two. Yep, for sure. Honey likes to climb on top of everybody. So does Aspen I and Winona. This one, I think this one's actually pretty cool. So we've got Johnny back with his mama because he's nice and friendly now. Huh, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Get over here, come here. Look how friendly he is now. And he loves to get scratches. So, you know, I actually think he has a moon spot that's gonna come through right here. Let's see if I can zoom in. Come here. Let's see if I can zoom in real quick. I feel like that there's one that might come through. We'll see. This is what he does. He paws at you when he wants to get scratched. <laughs> You're so naughty. Well, they all really do that now. Okay, that means you want to scratch. I get it. I get it. This is Daphne's other one. This is Daphne's other one. And this is Johnny. This is the this is her one buckling. Oh. And this is Honey. She just hopped right up here like a little bunny, aren't you? Demanding attention. Oh, so we've got Aspen on top of Ivy right here. <laughs> Yeah, they're all mountain climbers. They all want to climb on us. It's crazy. She's <laughs> they're so hard to keep away. It's just too fun, guys. Too fun cuddling all these babies. And Tatum is back with her little twins. They have, I think, graduated from bottle training boot camp, but we're not quite sure yet. Well, let's see. Let's go up to them and see if they let me do that. Let's see. If I go up and pet your babies, are they... Oh, see, they're good. They're not scared. She's very concerned I'm gonna take them away again. I'm sorry. I had to do it for just a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh, it was really sad, I know. Oh, okay, get away, Newt. She doesn't like you. And he's pretty good, too. 
haven't seen signs of them being scared of us out here. So I think we're good. Just one rule, you can never <laughs> kneel down over here in the pen or else you have the climbers. Yeah, I know, you guys are really good at that. It looks like, let's see if they're eating equally from each side. It doesn't look too bad. That right side is just a little smaller, but I have been watching them all day. It seems like they're eating equally. I'll have to keep a really close eye on that. You can't jump on me. <laughs> you know what, Ivy? I think that Miss Honey would be really good for the circus. What do you think? Yeah. Should we sell her to a circus? Yeah. Okay. 